the Crypt Keeper. <laughs> Good evening, Mystery Fangs. Tonight's terror tale is a horror who done it. You can try to solve right at home. It's about a couple of sly sleuths who try to fiend out why people have been crying werewolf. They sit out sniffing around for clues, try to scare up a suspect a hound, and become a howling success. <laughs> I call it fair tonight. Spare me the theatrics, girls. The romance movie's next door. <laughs> That's the true test of a classic horror film, Mildred. If you can see it over 40 times and still it seems fresh, still it offers new insights, still it lends itself to exciting new interpretations. Yeah, and you can go to the washroom in the middle of it without missing a thing. That too. By the way, Mildred, you can give back the fangs now. I, I think they're stuck to my braces. Mm. Ah. I wonder if any real vampires come to see these films. Camille, don't start. Start what, Mildred? You know, I love monster scares as much as you, but I know it's all pretend. Now who's starting? We've had this discussion about a zillion times, Camille, and again, until you have proof... Get out of town. You're telling me you have proof? I'm telling you to meet me tonight at the All Night Bite. Get out of town! They're definitely completely, totally stuck! Great. My parents spend a fortune on braces to correct a minor overbite, and I come home with fangs. Ah! <laughs> <sighs> I don't know why Camille always wants to meet in such a creepy part of town. But who knows what lurking in the shadows? Like... Like, newspapers and tin cans and... Thanks. Uh, you? Now, where's Camille? Camille? I ran all the way here. Give me a slurp of your soda. There must be a full moon tonight. This place is filled with... Creeps. Ah! I thought he was you! Thanks. Are you gonna tell me what this is all about? I'll tell you everything, Mildred. But you must be warned. This is not for the faint-hearted. Look. I don't believe it. Uncle Mikey's puppet Bino the Clown died? Oh, that used to be my favorite show. Not that, Mildred. That! <laughs> in the last three weeks, there's been a series of strange sightings in this area. Strange? What kind of sighting? Several witnesses say they've been followed by a man with wings. <gasps> who seem to just 
evaporate into thin air. <gasps> Who is also described as being heavily toothed. You really think it's a... A, a vampire! <laughs> They're getting too old for this job. Cool. cool. As I was about to say, there are no such things as vampires. Ah! Eugene! Hiya, girls! Say, are you finished with that paper? The crossword? <laughs> you know me, king of the crosswords. Gee, Uncle Mikey's puppet died. How can a TV show puppet die? Ratings. Eugene's low-cost budget limo, ride in style without spending a pile. Right away, sir. Got a fare. Gotta go. See you later, Camille. Nice teeth, Mildred. Uh. Hangs a lot, Eugene. You're not telling me everything, are you, Camille? What are you up to? Just be at my house tomorrow after school. And remember, this is not for the faint of heart. But there are no such things as real vampires. Are there? Hello? Camille? Anyone home? Strange. Whoa! <coughs> Jelly donuts, fake fangs, and vampire videos. You and your sister are just the same. Actually, so are me and your sister. Mildred, I'm upstairs! But that's different. We're older. So is that it, Camille? You're trying to pass your baby sister off as a vampire? What's this? Everything you always wanted to know about vampires, but were afraid to gasp? It's by the world's foremost vampire tracking expert, Professor B.L. Sanguini. Cool! This book tells you everything. I mean everything about vampires. Look. Wow, look. It even shows you how to build a... What? Vampire detector. Where? Shop class. Oh, yeah? Ta-da! Where? Shop class. I made a bunch of them. Christmas presents. This is so great. With this device, we can track down the vampire, find his lair, wait until he's sleeping in his coffin, and... Boom! We stake him! Shouldn't we be leaving this sort of thing to the professionals? Uh, if there really is a vampire. Nah. French seams? Yeah, and I blanket-stitched the back. I guess home ec's still good for something. carry the garlic because I have the vampire detector but I hate garlic it stinks and now I stink too I smell like a meatball we've been walking in circles for an hour and a half I don't think that thing is gonna work Camille of course it's going to work Mildred I just have to adjust the sensitivity levels you know it doesn't look anything like the picture in the book does your book say anything about why vampires hang out at donut shops? I'm getting something Camille! Not now, I've got a fix on him! Camille! I see him! So do I! No, I really see him! He's, He's getting, getting into Eugene's limo! Eugene! Stop! Eugene! Don't let him drink your blood! What kind of a warning was that? I thought it was... 
was direct and to the point. We've got to catch him. Excuse me, sir. It was Stoker Street you said, wasn't it? <laughs> I mean, I don't get many fares to Stoker Street. As a matter of fact, I don't get any. <laughs> it's just that there isn't much on Stoker Street. Except abandoned warehouses. I mean, this whole area's like that. Dead, you know? Anyway, you're the boss. I'm happy to take you anywhere. Ride in style without spending a pile. <laughs> you're pretty good, huh? I wrote it. Mildred. It's just the keys. Eugene must have been in a hurry. Come on! We've got to find him before it's too late! Mute mode. So the vampire won't hear the detector. Mute mode. Of course. What's that? Nothing. What? Never mind. Huh? We've got a dozen wooden stakes, a pack full of garlic, a state-of-the-art vampire detector, but did we think to bring a flashlight? Ow! What? I said ow! Not so loud, Mildred. Look! He's close. Very close. I can't see anything. Which way is he? He's right above us. Great. I suppose you want to go up there. By the way, I've joined the legions of the undead. If this backfires, chances are we'll be the only vampires in the 11th grade. Although I suppose we'll have to transfer to night school. <laughs> Come on, Mildred. <sighs> An old office with a coffin. He sleeps in his office, Camille. He must be very dedicated to his work. Camille! It's him! This is our chance, Mildred. Stake him. Me? You stake him! You made it! You stake him! Oh, no! You're in charge of staking? I've got the garlic. I'll take the garlic. No, I want the garlic! But you hate the garlic! It's grown on me! Oh! It's Eugene! All right, Eugene! Get him! Get that vampire, Eugene! Get him! Get him! Eugene is the vampire, apparently. Hello, girls. Good shot. Whoa! 
shouldn't drive. I don't have a license yet. And my learner's permit has expired. You've got a license, Camille. I think you should drive. Ah! Switch! Shut. We have the keys. He can't get in. Right, Camille? Wrong. Huh? doubted you, Camille. I doubt if I'll ever doubt you again. Come on, Mildred. Let's go. Whoa! Just what do you two think you are doing? Cowering? Professor Sanguini! Huh? Sanguine. This is such an honor, Professor. Mildred, it's Professor Sanguini. Sanguine. This is a very dangerous business, vampire tracking. Very dangerous. You're telling us? And it should always be left to the experts. Yes, sir. I'm sure you would have looked after it if we hadn't interrupted you. Yes, I was able to determine the location of the vampire's lair. But when my vampire detector malfunctioned, I couldn't identify the monster. So you decided to wait for him here? Precisely. Not knowing that he was, in fact, a driver. Why didn't you just come back in the daytime and get him when he was sleeping? Yes, I, uh, I could have done that, but... Uh, but, uh... but you were concerned about the safety of the public at large and wanted to dispose of the vampire as soon as possible, even though it meant risking your own life. Precisely. You know... The problem with your vampire detector might be the hemoglobal tubing in the third quadrant. You don't say. Solved quite easily by replacing the pulmonary flange with the cardiotronic sensor. I knew that. I made the stains. Oh, how embarrassing. It wasn't a werewolf after all. I was barking up the wrong tree. Even so, you don't want to make any mistakes when it comes to vampires. 
Who would have thought Eugene would be the one to go batty and try to put the bite on Mildred and Camille? You see, they almost learned the hard way that... things are often not what they scream. 